can't leave out Houston. Yes! I was waiting for you to say it. Yes! That's it. You can end the video. Yes! I was waiting for him to say it. He did it. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 cities with the hottest wrestling crowds. Uh, definitely been looking forward to checking this particular video uh, video out. Uh, wrestling crowds can make or break a show. I've said that plenty of times. Now, some people would disagree with that, but wrestling in front of a hot electric crowd, it just adds something to the atmosphere, to the product, especially those that are watching at home, seeing the crowd reacting oohs and ahs to the moves and people being invested in the storyline itself it's just it's that extra layer of the complete package of just wrestling as a whole we saw what it was like wrestling in front of no crowds you know during the pandemic era and yeah people were putting on good matches but it just doesn't have that same feel that's why they brought out the thunderdome to try to replicate real people being there and even though that was cool it still doesn't have that same feel as live audience, a hot crowd cheering on some of their favorite matches, booing the, the heels and cheering the baby faces and just saying this is awesome when there's something awesome happening. It, it just it makes it that much better, man. So we're going to check out some of these uh cities that had a, a hot wrestling crowd. Appreciate all the love and support. Let's get right into this one, man. One, two. Great Wrestling City is characterized by its boisterous crowds and storied past. For this video, we're covering the most famous wrestling towns and countries. We'll detail a bit of history and look at the iconic moments that occurred in each location. Yep. Nuclear heat. We'll also highlight some memorable crowd moments from these particular places. Electric. L listen to that as we showcase 10 of the hottest wrestling cities. Before we begin, let's give an honorable mention to Boston, Massachusetts. Austin, he got it! Austin is the champion! The yep. Austin there has begun! Greensboro, North Carolina. Up on the top rope! Damn! Hey, he did it! They carry it around the ring with a championship belt. Listen to that reaction. St. Louis, Missouri. That's gotta be kidding! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's him! Oh my god! That was a cool it's moment, too. Sting. That was such and a cool Atlanta, moment. Georgia. Oh my god! Yep. Oh hell yeah! Oh my god! Now let's start this. <laughs> Chicago is a premier wrestling city with a building that many talent consider to be the best to wrestle in. For sure, that for being sure. The Allstate Arena, formerly known as the Rosemont Horizon. This venue and others in Chi Town have given us a ton of fantastic moments that mm -hmm. featured a terrific crowd on hand to make things even better. He twists the leg! Yes, he can! Ricky the Dragon's table! <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Great moment. This is amazing. Goose bump what inducing. What's gonna happen? Classic. This is peak Daniel Bryan. Yes, movement. Oh my God. The nuclear booze. Oh, the authority was getting. Oh, this was so good. So good. I would be flat out embarrassed. Second City Saint CM Punk is the most patriotic wrestler towards the Windy City. His legendary homecomings are among some of the great wrestling moments. Back. This is cool too. Oh, goosebump inducing. This is so lit. Oh my god. That seems so lit. Philadelphia was a wrestling mm -hmm. institution courtesy of extreme. 
This is why wrestling in Philly this year. Woo, I can't wait. It's going to be great. It's going to be a great one, boy. It's going to be a great one. Championship Wrestling. This was a promotion that had a relationship with its fans comparable to that of a sports team, of which the ECW Arena in South Philly was its home ground. There, you would be hard-pressed to find a more impassioned and loyal group of wrestling fanatics. Boys just throwing chairs. Look at this. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my God. Sure, the people could be crazy at times, Look at this. But at the end of the day, they just wanted to be entertained. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. It's over. The emotion in this arena. They came up with some of the most creative chants that made for a truly unique viewing experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kill you. Taz is gonna kill you. <laughs> oh. As well, well, tonight, back here at the scene of the crime, the ECW. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Philadelphia has always been one of the WWE's best markets as well. Crazy, bro. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so good so good each year it's always a treat when the wwe or AEW run shows in the united kingdom mm -hmm. the fans in britain absolutely love their wrestling and it shows they have some of the best crowds and chants filled with british humor mm -hmm. <laughs> This is why, man, you UK crowds, man, you guys, y'all are just so fantastic when it comes to, like, just chance and the energy y'all bring to the shows. That's why I am definitely one of the, uh, I'm, I'm sure it's not just uh, a few of us out there, but I am definitely one of those people that would love to see a WrestleMania in the UK. I'm so dead serious about that if there's another place they have a wrestlemania it should definitely be in the uk bro i think that shit would just be fucking magical so i'm i'm all for that dead ass <laughs> tribal wanker it's the type of stuff you'd expect to hear shouted on a match day inside a football ground this all makes for a really fun party atmosphere <laughs> Listen to that. <laughs> More bro. <laughs> they were so over. In this semifinal matchup. And Enzo. Love it. See? Yeah. What are you even saying? These accents are terrible. And now Corbin looking to do this to do the same. He's going to off. Bobby Roode and Roode though slips down underneath. <laughs> Aggressive inside the ring. We're seeing that right now. And Elias is a dual star athlete. Just imagine if he could.
Love it. This was such a man. That was man. Clash of the Castle. Fantastic moment, bro. Fantastic. But again, how do you expect to be treated? Roman Reigns has treated no one. See, We've also <laughs> seen plenty of memorable moments go down during UK events. Yeah. Look at that, bro. <laughs> Listen to that reaction, bro. Bro, one of the best Monday Night Raw matches of all time. John Cena, HBK. Arguably, this match is better than the WrestleMania match. This shit was great. They went out there for a whole hour and gave you a five-star classic. It's literally one of the best Monday Night Raw matches ever. Deadass. Just fantastic, bro. This is cool, too. NXT. Canada and wrestling mm. go together like pancake. Mm. Such a good moment. Eggs <laughs> and maple syrup. From the days of stampede in Calgary to the incredible pay per view event that's name paid tribute to the territory where a number of future stars hone their craft. Meanwhile, Montreal and Toronto mm -hmm. continue to be two of the best cities for wrestling. They have some of the best fans that never miss when it comes to tremendous reactions. Look at the big splash win! Classic. She tapped instantly. Entertaining chance. Well, the people here are chanting Spanish table. I guess they like the looks of the table. Nobody would, nobody would even care in the United States. And your point would be what? <laughs> children the same talk <laughs> and supporting their favorite wrestlers look look at the response from these people JR. look at that bro this is amazing listen to this crowd of all of them hitting the rolling fast oh, yes. <laughs> no resist them <laughs> this is amazing this crowd is going wild oh this was so cool bro sammy Right before Elimination Chamber, so cool, bro. Such a great moment, so good. Great match, too. Great atmosphere, so good. Lucha Libre is integral to Mexico's cultural <laughs> heritage across numerous promotions and venues such mm -hmm. as Arena Mexico, which is known as the Cathedral of Lucha Libre. Wrestling in Mexico is all about La Familia, from the fans that come to see the matches to the wrestling tradition that runs through the famous mm -hmm. families like the Guerreros, as well as the Mendozas, better known as the Villanos. The fans' most beloved wrestler, El Santo, was a movie star, cultural icon, and revered folk hero who never lost his mask in the ring, and someone whose legacy was passed down to his son. In this modern era, fans have idolized stars like Mystico and Rey Mysterio. Mm -hmm. Rey Mysterio. Much like Mexico, in Japan, wrestling is taken very seriously. With so much history yeah, ranging definitely. from the legend of Ricky Dozan to the Ooh. Four Pillars. The Japanese fans have been spoiled with so much great wrestling over the years, mm -hmm. with even annual visits from the WWE to look forward to. What an ovation for Funaki! That's cool, bro. Lost the flagpole, look at that! Ah, yes, it's oh, man. What a moment here! Oh, Tokyo, coup de gras! He got it! Finn Balor's mm -hmm. champion! Seen that one, great moment too. Dallas is a city steeped in wrestling tradition oh, that course. continues to hold big shows to this day. <laughs> Who could forget the days of world-class championship wrestling in the Sportatorium, where the Von Erichs piled their trade and got over huge, as excited fans came in their droves each week. We loved our fans and they knew we loved them, and they could tell we loved them. There he's got it, here's the One, two, three. Look at that reaction, though. 
Look at that reaction. In later years, the Big D hosted two huge WrestleManias in 32 and 38. That was a cool moment, man. Seth Rollins wins the championship. Captain Jack, Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold, sharing a cold one at WrestleMania. Stone Cold sharing a moment and a cold one with his brother, deep in the heart of Texas. Love it. We can't leave out Houston. Yes, I was waiting for you to say it. Yes, that's it. You can end the video. I was waiting for him to say it. He did it. He did it. City, which held what many consider the best WrestleMania of them all in 2001. Yes! Yes! WrestleMania returned to Houston in 2009. Mm. It was notable for paying tribute to some great Texas legends the night yes. before at the Hall of Fame, which yes. was followed up by one of wrestling's greatest matches featuring two Texas icons. Oh, oh my God. Literally, it's the match that always gives me goosebumps, and it, it gives me that extra pride of knowing it was in Houston. I got to watch this live 25th anniversary of WrestleMania. This is still one of the best WrestleMania matches of all time. Simple. Simple. Fans couldn't get enough of Memphis wrestling during its heyday where crowds packed out the Mid-South Coliseum to see the likes of Jackie Fargo and Jerry Lawler. He got it! Damn! By the guys from the back who are coming out here. While people tuned in on television to hear the legendary Lance Russell call the action, Memphis loves to welcome their legends mm -hmm. back when they return. That's awesome, man. Memphis is a place with a long wrestling tradition mm -hmm. where great moments continue to be made. Wait a minute! My God! Austin manhandled! Austin oh. into the cage! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got the blues, but you won't lose, because goodness crazy, great balls of fire! <laughs> and it works, Daniel Bryan, and the yes movement gets what it wants! Look at that! That was a cool moment, too, man. This is just... <laughs> I can do this part time better than you could ever do it. Full. I didn't know this. I forgot this was in Memphis. I forgot. Well, Memphis been having some great moments. We just saw it with the Rock, the Rock concert that was in Memphis. <laughs> That's crazy. Memphis has had some great moments, time. wrestling wise. The beautiful island of Puerto Rico oh, is renowned for yeah. historically having the craziest group of fans this that live and breathe wrestling. This deserves to be here. People throw rocks at you, they throw piss on you, they throw urine on you, they throw feces on you. They want to see somebody get hurt. They love the baby Damn. faces and boy did they despise the heels. Ha sido más un padre para ella. Oh, the No seas mamao. Puerto Rico is still a wrestling hotspot where the audience remain a focal point and highlight of the show. Uh -huh. Thank you for taking exception to this audience. This audience is absolutely biased. Look at that, bro. Bro, this shit was so cool. New York was the WWE's original home. Hey, bro. Puerto Rico, y'all did y'all thing for Backlash. Y'all honestly made that one of the best pay-per-views from last year, bro. It's because of their reaction. Because of their energy. They made everything feel so important. And you cared. So good, bro. Y'all showed out, man. From base, dating back to the days of Bruno San Martino and his countless sellouts of Madison Square Garden while holding the WWF Championship for 2,803 days. Insanity. The Garden continued to be a hotbed for wrestling with rabid fans that were treated to so many classic moments yep. at the world's most famous arena. Oh my God. Yep. Oh. Hey. Iconic moments. Oh, yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Don't do it! <laughs> Jesus Christ. And Triple H came back from injury. Do you believe in miracles? Shawn Michaels believed in his 
great moment. Eddie Guerrero with a heartfelt embrace Damn, man. on his friend. The power of the city of strength. Chicago. Yep. So many great moments. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> The Manhattan Center has housed some of the best wrestling crowds under one roof. Dating back to the early days of Monday Night Raw. <laughs> the Manhattan Center also featured the famed Hammerstein Ballroom that yeah. paid host to events in the original ECW as well as for WWE's revival of the brand in 2005 and 2006. There we saw many of the most passionate and rowdy wrestling fans that made for an unforgettable audience. Yep. <laughs> Bro, that crowd will will never see nothing like that in WWE ever again. I I want you to know that cuz guess what? They're going to bleep out everything. They're just going to bleep out all noises. <laughs> <laughs> doing a great job. I guess you can talk, right? should be good. So you got Harvey! <laughs> Alright, let's speak. We love ECW! Oh. Amazing, <laughs> <Jeff>. <laughs> oh, we like it here on sci -Fi. In more modern times, the WWE has used the Barclay Center in Brooklyn as its main hub for events in New York, where a good crowd is always guaranteed. Uh -huh. Underneath all of that is Kane. Is awesome. Listen to the WWE fans. <laughs> <laughs> This is such a great moment, too. <laughs> it's the vault. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out a similar video of the top oh, 10. Oh, man. This was great. This was great. This was great. This was great. This is what I like to see, man, right here, man. Just going back down memory lane and, and watching these crowds you know, be electric and bring that energy. It adds to goosebumps. This is why I, I, I think it's important to, you know, recognize how good a crowd can save a show. Not even save a show, can make it better. When you go back and watch some of these, fate, like your favorite wrestling clips, a lot of times you're watching it because you want to relive that feeling you had when you initially watched it and you heard the crowd pop. You want to relive that. I don't know how many times I went back and watched Kofi uh, defeat Daniel Bryan to win the WWE Championship or when Daniel Bryan won in the Triple Threat match and he made Batista tap out and you heard Michael Cole tap out Batista, tap out Batista and the crowd went crazy when he actually won. Like, it's just one of those type of things like you just go back and you you relive those moments because you're you're watching it. You're watching it but you're also listening to the crowd and the energy and just seeing that on video and hearing that on video, it brings back the nostalgia even more. So comment down below. Let me know the city of your favorite wrestling crowds, whether it's in AEW or WWE or wherever. If you watch the pay-per-view or watch the show and they were in that particular city every time and they always brought the energy, let me know what city that uh, that was. But that's your favorite, of course. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K and I'm still unspeeded. Ah, I can't even talk, man. <laughs> Y'all know, you know, I'm not even going to do the outro, man. Y'all, y'all know, y'all know the outro. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>